Dan Daniel, back at it with the hot weather. Woo! Hey guys, Scouts! Welcome back to my channel. And if you don't know me, my name is Jaro of J Daily. I make videos about fashion style and everything nice. Today we are back with a talking video, somewhat talking video because I'll be talking first before I show you guys what I did last week, which I filmed because I filmed a how to do an Instagram a video how I edit my Instagram photo with a flat layout. Flat layouts are one of those trendy photos which is in Instagram and other fashion photographers are doing. So it's like a top view, um, an angle on a top view or a bird's eye view of objects that you just want to focus on. But yeah, so you guys know what a flat layout is. But if you haven't, you can just Google it and, and ah, it's so hot. Without any further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed the video that I did and it's really quick. I don't like really lengthy videos but maybe in the future I will be making a series about how I do my fashion photography and maybe a tutorial on how I edit photos and everything like that. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you do learn a few things about how I take my Instagram because I actually did a Instagram tutorial before that was I think that was last year when I was using Android and now I'm using iPhone way wait yay <laughs> yay so I can now show you guys the majority of how people edit their Instagram photos and I usually take my Instagram photos using a iPhone I don't really take my Instagram photos using my DSLR camera and all that because I want to practice how to take photos using an iPhone because you can actually achieve a great photograph just by using an iPhone without the use of any high-end lens or high-end cameras as long as you have that tool or you have that gadget with you that can take a picture picture then yes you can create photography and you can create nice photos if you have an eye and you're very keen to details yes you can take great photos and you can take awesome and amazing photos that can be featured in a magazine as well but anyway i will be seeing you on the next video and thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoy this video that i make so without any further ado let's start this video and i hope you guys learn a thing or two and also, do follow me on my Instagram and my social other. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do follow me on my other social media accounts. I got Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And also, if you guys wanna follow me around on my vlogs, on where I go every day with my BB, follow me on Snapchat. And I will see you there on my Snapchat. So, without any further ado, enjoy the video that I made and watch this until the end. Let me know on the comment below what you want us next and if you guys want to see another series of fashion photography and maybe styling another one of that because I believe that I am being slow lately with my original content because I have been busy playing my PS4 and I'm also making a video that I have for you guys on the next weekend. It's gonna be on a different channel. It's gonna be uploaded on a different channel so do Follow me on my Facebook page because I will update you on my Facebook page. Hey! Love you guys. Take away! Use a basic background. Choose a flat lay background that complements the featured products and doesn't distract the viewer from the main subject. Textured backgrounds such as tabletops, wood, marbles, shaggy rugs, and clean bed sheets are one of my favorites. Pick a theme. A theme is important because your flat lay should tell a story. In this case, I want to focus on summer theme. So I'm incorporating tropical fruits, watermelon, an image of the seascape, golds, and a collade. Whatever the case is, use products that naturally go well together and would be seen in the same scene. The number one rule of a flat lay image is to always shoot in natural light. I always like to add depths and levels to my background to create a shadow. Avoid creating too much shadows and create subtle shades to create a focal point. To ensure your flat lay is not cluttered and chaotic, leave space between each product. The space doesn't have to be big, but it needs to be enough to balance out the image. Now that we've mastered some of the techniques in flat layouts, can you guess what's missing in this theme? And your 
flat layout is all ready. Take at least 5 to 10 photos and now let's proceed in editing the photo. 